Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have some fun things to show you today. Um, I promised a few days ago that I would be back to talk about some of the digi kits because there's some kind of cool things that can be done with them. So um, I didn't want to just put them up without any explanation or any talk about them whatsoever. So anyway, so there is, let's see, um, there's a lot of new digi kits up, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm going to talk about some of them. Some of them are, are pretty self-explanatory and that kind of thing. And then some of them are like, what? So this one's, this one's probably pretty self-explanatory. This is the collage collection number one. And what these are is they are collage pages, but they are on white backgrounds so that you can print them on tea stained or parchment paper um, without using up all of your yellow ink because you guys know how much we go through yellow ink, right? So if you utilize parchment paper or tea stained paper, um, then you don't use, you know, you only use like half the ink that you would use. It does have some color on it and it does have some, some yellow, um, but mostly it's just a muted background um, and most places are white because our printers don't print white. We, home printers don't have white ink, so they don't print the white part. Um, so some of these are real, I mean, they look super cool when they're printed on parchment or tea stained paper. Um, it, it takes the little bit of color that's in it and it just enhances it and gives it a nice overall vintage -y look, right? Here's this one. And see, like this does have some, some yellow in it and this is just a tiny little hint, but you don't need much um, if you're printing it on the tea stain paper. I like this one. This is a picture, this is Louise. And that is a letter, your friend Louise, <laughs> and a book title, and then a letter, and she's on a little fern leaf there. And then this one too, just some, a nice little random collage. And so those are fun. Those are for um, your journal pages. If you would like, this is a set of, of five that comes, that comes in that kit. Then there is the Prairie Wildflowers kit, and I do have a couple of them printed out. I didn't have time to print out all of them because there is 10. There's 10. So these as well are for printing on parchment or tea stained paper. Um, you can see that there is a flower over here, and there is the page that goes with that flower and I kind of when I when I did the um, the etching the black and white etching of the flower and the page I aged those by um, um, making them look like they're kind of halfway worn away but these are all it's all white behind here except for what's in the little bit in the flower everything else is black and white so these are very economical to print and this one as well. And like I said, there are 10 different wildflowers, prairie wildflowers, and um, they look like this. So there's a full page spread as well. Okay. Now we get to um, some of the newer stuff that I've put up in the past couple of days. Um, this is part of one of the kits. And what this is, is this is the week blocks um, and the Dymo labels. So with the week blocks, um, there's a page of, of blocks that have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, on there. And then there's a page that, ha that they're blank. So if you wanted to use these instead, these Dymo labels um, for your days, you could. So there's two weeks on each page and I have made the blocks so that you can even put them in like a traveler's notebook size um, journal. 
they'll work in you know regular you know if it's like the nine by six or the traveler's notebook the skinnier one they'll work in either one because i i sized them so that they would work that way and then this is the page of the dymo labels and so there are five weeks monday through sunday and then there are the um the months so um like here is i made this oh uh, several months ago last last summer and it's still it's still hanging around and what i thought i would do is show you what it looks like inside because what i did was i printed this on the transparent uh shipping label paper so it's eight and a half by eleven and so it's a full sheet of clear it's kind of a matte barely 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 it's not glossy it's just barely barely matte with like a little bit of a velvety i wouldn't say frost but it's not shiny so i don't know how to i guess it's just matte and um there is a link down below i found um the cheapest place was at amazon and this is a 25 sheet pack for 14 and change I don't remember 14 something um, right next to it you can get 10 labels for like $13 or you can get 25 labels um, sheets for you know 14 so it's like ugh, for a dollar more you get you know two and a half times the amount. it's like really who's gonna go for just 10 sheets who does that um, okay so anyway the link for these is is down below if you want to check that out and for these, what's so great about them is you can write on this uh, shipping label paper. And so you can write over the top of these blocks with, you know, just an ink pen. I have not tested all the different kinds of pens you can use though. so. I don't know. Don't ask me that. I haven't done that yet. But I know it works with a ballpoint pen. Just a regular, regular old pen. So they'll fit in here like this. And I'm just, because I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it here, kind of where I want it. And hold my hand there so that it um, holds it down where it needs to be. Because heaven knows if I tried to just peel it all off and stick it on it just it's not gonna work so peel that part off and I will just carefully roll that back up like that and then I'll peel off this side and roll that down and now you have a journal page that you can write on. And let's we'll zoom in a little here. Okay, there we go. So now you've got a page that you can write on and you can still see through if you, you know, if that makes any difference to you or not. You can also print these just on white paper or you can print them on tea stained paper. You don't even have to print them on uh, label paper at all. You can print them on, what am I looking for? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's been, it's been a day. Well, it's been a week. Um, you can print these and just, you know, cut them out and put them in your book just with paper. It, it doesn't matter. So with this, I'm just going to grab out February. And if you already have, um, you know, a planner or whatever that already has the um, the uh, week blocks in it, you can always use the dymos for um, for labeling things if you want. So that's what this kit is, and like I said. Um, this is great on the label paper because then it sticks wherever you want to. And if you print it on the clear, then it kind of disappears and goes away. 
but like with these if you didn't want to use up a whole page just for weak blocks print those on tea stained paper and just glue them on or use double sticky tape or washi tape or you know there's all kinds of things you can do okay move it let's move on let's move on oh there's also some numbers if you wanted to use it's one through 31 just in case you needed to number anything you know i'm going to make a mess cutting all this stuff out okay so let's move on the um the other things that have been listed are just some one page kits and here's three of them there are more <laughs> there are more i just don't know where i put them it's one of those days, guys. It is one one of those days. Here's one, too. So um, what these are is like, this is, do you guys remember when I did the um, woodland and the garden um, clip art so that, and I printed it on the label paper so that you could just cut it out and slap it wherever you want to. These are great. These work phenomenal. So I did one that's all green, mostly green things. So there's a house plant, real ivy, like trailing. There's this um, little fern. Here's a cactus. And there's two, two ferns that are like not in a pot. And a bonsai and some blooming cactus, mushrooms, a pine tree, and then a big fluffy garden tree. So, oh, and, and these poppy poppy seed pods. So these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to cut out and put these wherever you would like. Um, alternatively, if you are, um, if you use Photoshop or, you know, one of those other editing software programs, um, you are welcome to use them in digital stamping if you want to do that. Um, instead of printing them out, you can print them out just on tea stained paper or anything you want and still use them however you know however you see fit. Um, but they're so cute. So let me get a let me get a page here. And you can decorate your planners, or you can decorate your uh, your junk journals, or greeting cards, or all kinds of things. And there we go. And there's a cute little house plant on the corner of your page. These also look great um, if you stick the stickers on white paper, or you know, all kinds of stuff. So. That was one of the new ones, the It Ain't Easy Being Green. <laughs> you can print them also just on the white label paper, just the regular white shipping label paper. They also have sticker paper. Like you can actually buy paper for stickers. I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> I just buy the cheaper um, mailing labels. But they do make glossy and all kinds of sticker paper that's beautiful. So... Don't let me stop you. Don't let me stop you. This one, this one's so cool. Okay, so these are vintage typewriter keys, right? And then there's a fragile sticker. There's a postcard and an airmail envelope and some stamps. And these are so adorable. So there's A through Z and then two through nine. I don't know why there wasn't a one. I, I don't know. It, it wasn't on there. So, sorry. Um, I'm just going to cut out the Z because it's over here. And these are made so that you can um, use a one inch punch. But um, I'm never very successful at um, punching this paper out. This and, and I know some of you have told me, well, you got to just use a piece of paper. I don't know. It just never works. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm doing it wrong. Apparently, <laughs> apparently I'm doing it wrong. I do a lot of things wrong. It's okay. Um, but then you just cut it out. 
And now you have the cutest little typewriter keys. They're so good. So I hope you like those. This is the vintage correspondence clip art. Again, you can use them for digital stamping. You can put them on sticker paper. You can just print them out on regular white mailing label sticker paper. You know, there's all kinds of things you can do um, with clip art. This one is the um, random clip art from the attic. So we've got hands in all four directions. We've got the Mona Lisa. There is an admit one ticket, an eye chart. There's Great Britain. Um, there's a globe and an old Polaroid camera and a teacup, tickets, an alarm clock, a stack of books. And I've actually edited this. So if you've already downloaded this and, um, and it doesn't have what I'm about to tell you, I think there's like two or three people, um, you can go back and download the new one. It's, it's in your account. So I ended up putting a little quote on the paper that comes out of the, do you see the paper that's coming out of the typewriter? I typed, I typed with Photoshop a quote on there. So there's one with a quote. Um, Cause I, I don't know, I thought it looked a little bit, little bit better and I put some more definition around the paper so you could see it a little bit better. So also super cute, right? So, you know, you cut these things out and they're great to decorate all kinds of things, just like the other things I was just talking about. Um, so have, have fun with them. I hope you like them. Um, it took me four flipping ever to Photoshop all this and to pick everything I wanted to pick and to, oh my goodness, some of the things had to be built from scratch because um, what I had in my head, there just wasn't any, you know, raw um, materials to start out with. Oh, I had to just build it in Photoshop. So um, I hope you guys enjoy these as much as I do. And I hope, I hope they help you to um, decorate your planners or your diaries or your day books or, you know, what, what, you know, digital stamping, whatever else you decide you want to do with them, you know? I'm going to just pop this puppy down here. And we got a little teacup. So cute. Okay, okay. I'm moving on now. Because I could just do this forever. Um, as a kid, I collected stickers. That was like, did you, you guys remember that? Back in the 80s? Um, everybody had like an album. It was like a photo album. You know, remember with the acetate film that went over the top? And I had a whole photo album filled with stickers. Remember the puffy ones? There were ones with like gel and um, glitter. There were the scratch and sniff. There was googly, oh my goodness. Like I had hundreds and we would trade them. And so I'm kind of ate up when it comes to stickers. And you're like, I'm just gonna print that out on regular paper and just cut it out and glue it on. Go for it. <laughs> I'm just a sicker, uh, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for stickers. And then there is this one. This is the um, vintage office clips and labels. And if you look real closely at the clips, come on camera, they have booksmith embossed in them or debossed in them. Isn't that cute? So cute. So um, I think they're adorable. So you've got, um, three different colors of Denison labels and several different sizes to use. These are metal drawer, um, like file folder drawer labels. And I've left it blank with just some tea stained paper, tea stained paper in there. So you can fill these out any way you want to. These little guys are cute. The little clips. I want to use a booksmith one. Well, I think I have one. I think I have some already cut out over here. I do, I do. So I, I went ahead and cut some of these out. And um, you just, you peel them off your sticker paper, just like, just like the others. And then you just put them on top of, you know, a note or something inside your book. Make it look like, you know, a clip is holding, is holding in your, in your note. And that's what they look like cute, right? So I hope you like those. And like I said, you can write on these. So, um, that's kind of handy. 
so you can you can do your own your own labels with your own you know to-do list or whatever else it is that you want to you know put on your label okay so those are the vintage office clips and labels so I, ho I hope you like those new kits another thing that you can do with this clear sticker paper and Avery is not paying me anything they don't even know who I am they have no idea nobody's paying me to say anything this is just me being this is just Nick being Nick so um, another thing you can do with especially this clear sticker paper is you can make your own like washi tape so I printed on this um, my ode to the bee kit has um, some bee just bee paper so it's just this honeycomb with the little bees all over it so I kind of shrunk that down and I put that on uh, printed it for that side and this is a William Morris design right here and then here are some some peacocks and I'm gonna go slice this up into slices and I will be right back so I was able to get out of just one one sheet of the label there are eight lengths of one inch washi and then this is like they're like ten and a half inches long so you can cut these skinnier if you don't want them one inch wide you can cut skinnier pieces if you want um, you could do half inch or three quarter inch um, you know or you could go ahead and cut it into one inch slices and then you could even slice that in half just with some scissors you know as you feel like you want to you could also do stuff like that but let me show you I'll just take off a piece like and you just peel off the back and this is gorgeous 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 tape and I will slap it on some paper here I'm running out of room on this page aren't I <laughs> but look how beautiful look how beautiful that is so um, I will be putting up in my shop some different designs that are my favorite like the William Morris designs so that you can print them out well you can use them for whatever you want but if you want to print them out on this transparent um, shipping label paper it makes excellent washi and uh, or just decorative tape I guess you don't have to call it washi because I guess it's not tissue but um, what's nice is is that you can print it out and you can go ahead and slice it into strips you know whatever size of strips you want and then you can just put it in a drawer or put it in a folder because it's got the the paper on the back that will you know keep it protected so that you can you know you can stick it when you want to stick it right so and then here's what the skinnier stuff looks like i don't know it's just kind of it's just the it's like the possibilities are endless just absolutely endless so think of all the things that you could print on you could print your kids faces you could make little you know Jimmy and Susie and Bobby and Terry washi Ugh. so go do that <laughs> go put your kids face on some washi Oh, that would be awesome. So anyway, I will be putting up some eight and a half by 11, just, you know, sheets, you know, this size stuff um, for you if you want to make some decorative tape um, or if you, you can print out and do something else with it if you want. I don't care. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know about this fun little, this fun little thing that you can do with this transparent yeah it's awesome this is stupid pretty right just stupid stupid pretty and the peacocks are just adorable they're adorable let's be honest they're adorable so I will get those up as well there will be some up by the time you you watch this and I will have to come up with some clever name 
so that people realize what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll take a picture of this, maybe, maybe this little set of things and... Okay, that is enough, that is enough. Um, uh, I am working my tail off to get some stuff done. Um, we've had a family emergency and so I'm... Uh, so there's been some delay in getting um, what I promised done. Probably, I'm going to say Monday instead of, because I was supposed to show you some books today. Well, I'm not ready. Um, so I will, we'll just say Monday for that. Um, it's been a crazy week, guys. It has been an absolutely just insane week. So I'm trying to get my act together <laughs> and still deal with um, everything that's going on right now. And um and I will be back really soon though. Um, maybe on Monday, maybe we'll do some books and maybe we'll do a fun little DIY project. Um, I mean, beyond, you know, making your own tape. Because, I mean, that's, you print, you cut, right? You peel, you stick. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was fun for you. Um, uh, you can also, like I said, print this just on regular white um, shipping label. Um, full sheet paper. I'll put that link down below as well. And because you can make tape that isn't translucent, you know, you can just print it on white stuff if you want. It'd be it'd be beautiful. Um, it's just when it's printed on this transparent stuff, it just gives it this, oh, you know, this translucent. I don't know this yumminess. Anyway, all right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the the stuff, the new stuff that's going on. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to contact me at Etsy or um, you can put it in the comment section below and I will get to that when I get to that. <laughs> but definitely at Etsy is where I, I can get my messages without, I always get notifications for those. Well, well, usually. All right, guys, have a great Friday and I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.